good day to you. Cheers from Matt over at Antique Toys. We're going to do a review on the 209 Auto Wrecker. This was the deluxe evolution of fixed bed, dump bed, dump beds with hydraulics. 1928-29, uh, Buddy L rolled out the deluxe guy with a almost a Weaver style uh, crane or wrecking winch and you're gonna find out more details behind this beauty. Stay tuned for more. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this auto wrecker, which is also known as a wrecking truck. Uh, auto wrecker, because back in the day they differentiated with horse-drawn versions and automobile or auto versions, so this is technically an auto wrecker. Uh, it ends up being number 209 in their lineup and documentation I think has it starting around 28 but 29, 1929's catalog they really bragged about it. And what's absolutely wonderful is this gigantic winch where um, it ends up having the Buddy L branding on it and so this wheel turns it where it can go through almost 360 um, and then you have a double winch system which is quite unusual but he always use these safeties so that things did not spin backwards but like on this safety um, you can spin it backwards and then unhook so that you have a compound pulley in the back which is wonderful or you could do kind of um, like recovery efforts, quote unquote, just like the real deal, where you undo this safety and you could lift something out of the ravine. And then when the kid cranked it, hear it click, 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 that ends up being just like the real thing where the ratchet doesn't go backwards. So super interesting. Uh, we're quite fortunate, uh, I'll turn it, don't be a bit surprised if the gearing in here on a lot of originals has started to uh, pop like a die casting corrosion and then wear out. We're fortunate this, 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 this here is original on this toy. Um, I'd say 50% of them get replaced. Maybe 20, 25 don't even work. So this is that rare working original one. Uh, rails are brass, which is great. The body is all pressed steel, and it is a toy that's mounted on its frame. So they did red baked enamel, then they uh, secured on the cab, and then just like real truck manufacturing, they picked the type of bed to go on it, whether it's a dump or flatbed. This is the much more deluxe toy. Um, I vaguely recall it selling for around $4, uh, right around 1928 29 which is a massive sum when you consider you can go to a five and dime nickel and quarter store and spend five cents on a toy this big. So five cents, I mean we're talking a hundred times more expensive than your entry level toy. It was a, is a relatively wealthy family's toy. Um, Stickers original. Most Buddy L's have a sticker right here in the floorboard. Steering works, which is proper. Wheels were cast in aluminum and polished. So you're always going to see some aging on the proper ones right here because aluminum tends to just age, tarnish. Uh, they did set screws here on the tips to hold, hold the pieces on and that's brass, which is, you know, an expensive material. And then they usually spray paint it in the centers. And I'll turn it around here so that you get to see. Uh, designs are symmetrical. Stickers are here, opposite side, floorboard. And then you can still see the Buddy L winch, which is wonderful. Um,
All right, conclusions. Uh, overall, heft is right there at the top. Uh, the gauge of steel right there at the top. It just feels ultra deluxe, ultra well made. Uh, the fact that they baked on the paint, they might have even double dipped them, is wonderful because you can actually handle this toy. Um, you figure 20, 28, 29, we're almost at 100 years, you can handle it and know that it's still going to hold up for probably another 100 years at least. Uh, you can't say that on a lot of hand painted items, for instance. Um, so the impression is it's deluxe, it's very well made. Um, and I would say pretty close to the top of the food chain. I mean, there's a reason why everything Buddy Elf sells well. Um, hardware selection was over the top, amazing. So, um, I, you know, I give it an A+. I really do. And this particular toy I give an A+, because it's a deluxe model. Um, top, top condition. Uh, highest quality toy making. Uh, I believe it was Moline, Illinois. I believe Moline did international truck parts, and so the gauge, the thickness, the tooling is just wonderful. In fact, you might argue too good, because when the Great Depression hit, I believe Buddy Elf almost went out of business, and um, I believe there's a story behind the family and depression and so forth, but um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful toy. I, I think it's a uh, top item for anybody's collection, whether it's this one, whether it's a different one. Um, seek out Buddy L and have some fun in your search. So cheers from Ed over at Antique Toys. Have a wonderful day and be sure to check out our merchandise, our website, which is antiquetoys.com. And if you have a collection to sell, please keep us in mind. Shoot us some photos. Photos can be sent in a smaller grouping to toys at antiquetoys.com. And otherwise, have a great day. Cheers from Ed.